is Ruckus. Thanks for joining. Please like, subscribe, and share. 10 a. What's going on, Kev? What's up? The usual. I was just talking college basketball with you. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, it's not, it's not a bad uh, bad thing to talk about. Let me just run through real quick, make sure I get everything set up and say hello. We got Miss per Persevere. Uh, hey, Thismira, I missed you last night. Yeah, you got right by me. I apologize. She Warrior 64. We got Die witchcraft every live i do kev somebody bitches about me saying hello to everybody well you do your best <laughs> carol yeah 63 clocks how are you yeah i had over uh, almost 1400 chats in that live oh, last, last night minute. wow yeah yes. we were out to eat or I'd, or I'd have been in the chat too or been on with you but well that's awesome holy hell yeah, mum, mummy Wolverine. Not not 1,400 people. Yeah, well, comments or whatever. Comments. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's still a ton. It's it's hard to keep up, man. It is. Bees, how are you? Witchcraft. Mummy Wolverine. Did, um, who was it that wanted to get into that uh, pool that you did, the bracket? What's up, Night Shadow? Well, we had six people, Red total Queen. six people get in it. And I'm, like I was telling you, I'm in last place in my own bracket. <laughs> I'm a former basketball coach. <laughs> coach Kev, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, hey. What up, Frank Meister? Hey, Frank. Delphi Dummies, what's going on? <laughs> Didums. Didums sent me $20 for a new hairbrush. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just Deb. I'm gonna have $20. to do one. Twenty dollars huh? would be a life, would be a lifetime supply of hairbrushes for you if you bought one for twenty dollars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you don't have to buy another one again. <laughs> Shane says, "I was thinking for the jury, you can't be a nodenist, you can't be related to Williams, Patties, <laughs> Germans, or never heard of the case. We are down to about five percent of Carroll County. That might but be a high number, Shane." <laughs> they're pulling the jury out of uh allen county Alan not county. that it makes a difference you know jinx how are you so, ma'am hey. i almost called her sir jesus christ you climb up and kick my ass <laughs> rescue all the dogs how are you dear cryptex my man what's going on dude your dog's a trip and the way you video that is awesome man good tunes too have you ever been to cryptix channel I've seen stuff that people have shared before. Someone just shared something today, too, and I'll, I'll, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, he's awesome. He's a good dude. Heather Marie, hello. Uh, Lisa. Hair, hair Hybrid Pisces. <laughs> the unscrupulous oh. Ashley Schaefer. Another talented individual. Yes, very. I wish I could do that kind of shit. Even yeah. you know, they fuck with me all the time, and you. They put you yeah. on that shit. Too. I love it. I'm, I'm I, I think it's funny. Yeah, I think it's funny. <laughs> the eighteen one is fantastic. My my buddy at work, who's a deputy chief, was in tears. I he the one where our names are in there. Yeah. I showed it to my buddy TJ. He we watched. It. He's like, play it again, play it again. <laughs> <laughs> James, what's going on, my friend? All right, let's see. Lake Michigan. Yes, this is a great guest. I'm no good on my own. <laughs> Jay McNear one. How are you? Miranda Lee, what's shaking? Miranda. Miranda's beat me in the pool. She's never gotten one in her life, I don't think. She's Tattoo you. Me. That's who I was thinking about. I knew you were talking to somebody in uh yeah, the chat Miranda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Miss Persevere, I just got you your wrench back. No more messing with your account. Karen Bentley, how are you? Priscilla, spending the weekend with Ruckus, cold and wicked rainy in Boston. Yeah, well, it sucks here, too. It's like 70. And it's nice out. 
<laughs> Just That's Deb, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. CJK, how are you? Hey, CJK. Corey England, happy Saturday to you as well. All right. Imitation crab. Hmm. Yeah, the jury selection starts uh, just before the trial. Did you see the date on that? V. Marie, how are you? Kev, did you see the date when the jury selection starts? I know Turbo shared it with us. I think it's easy. Uh, I I can't. What did they say? It would take two weeks to sit the jury or 10 days? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, end of no, April, beginning of May. Day. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the question there was maybe that person was thinking May 13th, the proceedings for everything started, but the trial itself will be started May 13th. The jury will be selected yeah. by then. Unless, unless there's some kind of slowdown in jury selection, who knows? In this case, I guess it's possible, right? <laughs> it, I don't think the trial is going to happen. Kira wow. DeBuren, how are you? De yeah, Kira, I always say it wrong too, but now she got me set straight. She said Key, so I always think Key. So now I yeah, I this. keep fucking up her last name though, dude. I'm, I'm, oh, I don't even try the last name. <laughs> I, I have the IQ of a retarded clam. It's DeBruin. <laughs> Kimosabi was shaking. Yeah, the last name's easy once you get the first name. All right, I think we're about through everybody cleo there you are how are you heather swenson yeah it cracks me up how it pisses people off that i uh say hello to everybody and that <coughs> just makes me want to do it more oh well <laughs> if some people might get mad that you don't say hi to them you know i get it I, candy uh, b I feel bad when I miss people now people that are uh, pissing and moaning uh people that i didn't see in the chat Lakeside Justice. I had somebody comment uh, today that said that he called me out, and I'm full of shit, and I have nothing. <laughs> oh, <I know laughs> Sweet pea, how are you? I mean, these people need to understand it's the internet. You hey, know? we're like we we have YouTube pages. I'm going to use a sports quote. Nick Saban said this: "If you want to make everyone happy, don't coach, sell ice cream." So if we wanted to make everyone happy, we should sell ice cream, not have a YouTube page. That so comes with the turf, you know? What are you <laughs> That's do? right. What's up, see-through? Ivy Push, how are you, dear? Joseph Mancus, Super Chat, $10. Thank you so much. Thank you, That's Joe. awesome of you. <laughs> Thanks for your good work. Not much, but a little help when you're on the road. Good news. Those ugly tablets are working. <laughs> I don't need ugly tablets. Tablets. I'm ugly as a mud fence to start with. <laughs> Susie, how are you? Now, have you ever received a jury summons? Yeah, I actually served on a jury. Uh, it was before COVID, maybe 2018 or something. It was a civil case where uh, a guy... I was wrecked into on New Year's Eve by an older couple, and he it, it, it was they had two doctors do uh, video testimonials or whatever, and half of both of the doctors' videos were blocked out because they weren't allowed to say what they said. So I'm just like I don't even understand. And the whole jury, we got up there and we were like, you know what, this he's, this guy's trying to take advantage of this older couple, but it was the older couple's fault. So what we decided, he wanted like eighty grand. We awarded like thirty five hundred dollars. And we gave the the thing to the bailiff, to the judge, and the judge looked at us and was like, kind of put his hand on his head. And he called the, he's like, uh, come up here uh, to the attorneys. And he's like, they said you won, but it's 35. I'm like, I don't know. And it was, he was like, whatever you guys think. And we, so we said 3,500 bucks. He wanted How'd you come grand. up with 3,500 though? 3,500 was a number that, uh, that they had, a, she would have had to pay her insurance company for her vehicle. Or something okay. like that. So it didn't even have anything to do with him. But we were like, this is BS. But it was it was her fault, but he was asserting all these other injuries. He could have been a professional tennis player. This is what they were saying. Sure. And the guy's yeah. like 25 years old. I'm like, I don't know that much about tennis, but those people usually are getting into it before their mid-20s, you know? So <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it was like a mid twenties anymore. It's thing. fourteen, fifteen yeah. year olds. Oh yeah, maybe even younger than that. But yeah, yeah but it was, it was it was a day and a half trial, and the court at the second day bought everyone lunch. I don't know how they have money for it, but we ordered from his hoagie place, Pepe's downtown, and uh, the, the Pepe Baylor, Le Baylor, It was it's a good it's actually a good hoagie place. If you're ever in Pittsburgh, Pepe's Hoagies. It's near Primani Brothers down in the Strip. But the, the uh, bailiff was a former county police detective, and he actually knew my grandpa. My grandpa was a judge here in my town, McKeesport, so a district magistrate, and he actually knew him. Uh, he was starting his career then, but retired cop. I think a lot of our bailiffs down there are retired, like, police officers, you know. and They still carried a, not bailiff, the judge's assistant or something. He carried a gun and everything. So I shouldn't say bailiff. He was, like, the judge's guy. Those, those are the bailiffs. And they're assigned exactly. to the judges. Like he was, he was with us, walking us up and down. Like, hey, you got to go to the bathroom. You know, he was real, he was showing us anything we needed. You know, we were there. He was there for us. Bossy's forty-eight, and she's becoming a professional ice skater for the Olympics. Yeah. Do they yeah, allow like, pros in the Olympics? I don't know. Things have changed so much. What's up, Periwinkle? Yeah, I we mean, they got professional basketball yeah. player and players and hockey players you know yeah. <laughs> yeah that's the nice thing about being retired law enforcement i don't have to worry about and obviously when i was active duty i didn't have to worry about uh jury summons and you know it's nice too it's it's a little perk my wife doesn't have to worry about it either i told them that my brother was long current law enforcement and that i'm a, I'm a career fireman and i work shifts and I'm like, I'm not saying that that will deter me, but just so you guys know, and like when both attorneys, when my thing came up, they, they're both of their eyes lit up. Like they both wanted me for whatever reason. They both thought I would be a good juror for their side for whatever reason. There was people down there hoping to get picked. They're like, boy, I hope I get on his case and I hope it's a murder and we're here for six months. I'm like, oh man, aren't you going to miss work? Well, I don't work. So this will give me something to do. Yeah. Okay. You know, they're, they're pitching in somehow, I guess. I just don't know if they were the sanest people. None of them got picked. None of those people that wanted to get picked got picked. They were upset. <laughs> yeah. Huge said his uh, grandson is 16 and into tennis, and there are kids, they're younger yeah, than that. Mean, you know, like any other sport, man, you, you get in, probably start playing as a, you know, five or six-year-old and get more competitive as you go on. Mm. Hey, Mary. Now, I've never been through the jury selection process. Hey, Mevin. No, not close. Pros. I have an accent. Oh, nude Olympics. <laughs> now, what? Now, what? Um, yeah, it'd be a nude Olympics. Yeah. Did, did you get selected just on paper or did they talk so to you? Did you go to the actual get asked questions and stuff like that? Here's how they do it. I'm in Allegheny County, which is where Pittsburgh is. It's the second biggest county in Pennsylvania behind Philadelphia County. You know, there's more people in Philly than Pittsburgh. But <clears throat> so you get a summons and basically you call a number. They'll give you a date like two weeks from the time you get the summons and you call a telephone number and they'll say anybody with last names A through L have to report to jury duty. M through Z do not. So I was in a group that had a report. You go down, you fill out a questionnaire as soon as you get down there. And then once you get down there, like they pair people away from that. Then you sit in a specific seat and they call you like, I was like number 17 and they could ask, there's like 80 people in this box and like a big courtroom area, probably 40 people. They did it in two groups and they would question number 17. And it's your, your brother's a, a police officer where at, I said, city of McKeesport, uh, he's a narcotics detective. And then, you know, that's, they would ask people, but everyone they asked questions to pretty much got picked. You know, the defense would ask, and then the uh, the defense asked me a question, but the prosecution didn't. But some of the people, both sides asked. And then you could kind of see who they were going to pick, because if they didn't ask you a question, they'd be like, a hold 17, 23, and 25. Everyone else is, is excused. And the judge would say, okay, you guys have to go back in the room. Everyone else, thank you for your service. And there was like a, a sign-out paper that you signed out that you left. And then you got paid like I don't, back then. I think it was like twelve bucks or something to, for the day. For the <laughs> day, checked, right? Yeah, like twelve bucks and mileage, which was like at, like a cent a mile or something. It, it was. I think I got a check for two days for like thirty four bucks. Nice, but it you cost, also you also got a Pepe's. 
Yeah, I, well, I did. I got a free hoagie and fries. So, yeah, that maybe that, that, that may, might have made it a push. <laughs> but that's yeah. how they did it there. And like I said, that was a civil case, a real short. And they were like, it's only going to last two days at the most. So that was it. That's the only time I ever had a report. Well, you get um, juries like this, you know, coming from another county. I mean, they're going to have to put them up. I don't know if they're going to sequester them. I would imagine they are. Because they're coming from they outside the county. Hey, Cecil. <clears throat> Plus this case, too, as crazy as it's been, you know what I mean? You would think that they'd want to sequester them. That's a that's a big thing. But they, what do they say they're expecting for the last two weeks? Is that what she blocked off two weeks for the trial? Yeah, it could go longer than that, though. Yeah, but you don't, you don't foresee like an O.J. Simpson nine, ten month trial, right? If we do get to trial, there's really no way that's going to happen. And you know they were sequestered. Yeah, you know? that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> in Florida. I'm, 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 I'm not positive on this, but I think it's under ten bucks a day in Florida. But they do <laughs> feed you. I know that. They have a cafeteria right in the courthouse, though. You know, they make. Oh, the they food. had that. They had something there for us, but everyone's like, "You guys don't want to go eat there." Like nobody <laughs> eats there. So they're like, "Oh, okay." But there's a lot of places down there. With five minute walk, you could get a good sandwich or salad or something. So, yeah. Well, I'm, you know, like I said, dude, you know, I, I don't think it's going to be. They're going to put it off. They're going to ask for a continuance, the defense. There's, there's no so doubt for, about it. So, do you think if they do ask for a continuance, like, what would the, the methodology be behind that to give more time to, to maybe try to work a plea? Or to actually, hey, we need another month to investigate, and then we're going to go to trial. What do you think that that would be? If they did that, what would their meaning be? Well, you you know how I feel. I think, what's up, Katsy Klein? I think he's going to plead out. He, he he can wait till the last second and plead out. Uh, so, t to me, just the way they're, they're going about shit, um, you know, they're complaining about how much. Look, Cryptek says, can you have a beer at least? Nope. <laughs> does delphi have the resources for sequestered jury hotel restaurants yeah <clears throat> yeah shit they gave the defense a couple million i think they can afford to put some people up and pay for some lunches well if they would if they would if delphi the city itself or whatever doesn't uh the county does. it, they would yeah. they would just have to bust them maybe half an hour away or something you know what i mean or i'm not sure mm. how, whatever it would take that would have to be on them i assume yeah yeah, yeah so Derek them all chauvin's case on. was uh interesting remember that the, the george floyd case oh yeah 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 oh they the jury will be sequestered yeah i'm not surprised by that i, I think i mean in this case who knows but yeah it's it's crazy but the, the defense has set this up you know they they've set this up to get a continuance on it because they keep complaining that they don't have the evidence, they don't have time. You know, I mean, you got um, Hennessy who's complaining he doesn't have time to take care of his clients. He's had a lot going on in his life, which we all do. You know, thing things happen, but they're just and they they should. Kev, I'm not saying that they're wrong for doing it. They should stretch it out as long as they can um, and get the best deal that they can for him. Because he can plead out right up until the morning of the trial. He can change his plea. He can accept the plea yeah, deal. Yeah. Ted Bundy did that. Ted Bundy had a plea deal worked out. When he showed up in court without telling his attorneys, he pled not guilty. He said he didn't want <laughs> the plea deal. And everybody was like, what? But that was, you know, that was Ted Bundy. That's what he did. He did. He represented guy. himself, too. He, he, they were going to take the death penalty off the table. And uh, he 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 refused it. He just said, no, I don't want the deal. Last minute. Everyone was kind of shocked. They're like, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Red Queen? As a small town, is there a hotel? There, Lafayette, I think, is uh, where most of the lodging is. Yeah, Are you going to try and go there for the trial at all, Kev? I don't know about the trial. Uh, yeah, Miranda. I, we were talking about the Michigan State. That's what I was watching, t talking to Ruckus about. I'm staying there. I'm going there for the walks. I'm staying in, in Lafayette somewhere, West Lafayette, whatever, 
Uh, but that would be a big turnaround for me. We're actually going away for my birthday, which is the first week of May. So we're actually going to Key West, me and my girlfriend, for, for a week, Monday through Friday. We found like an incredibly cheap flight. Airfare from Pittsburgh round trip for me and her is under 500 bucks. Nice. So, and then, you know, she found a place and there's a bunch of things. And she talked to me, we're going to rent a moped because apparently you have to rent like a moped or a golf cart down there to get around. That's what she says. So uh, we're going to do a lot of history. Uh, you know, uh, Hemingway, all his stuff, you know. So hmm. we'll check it all out. I agree with James. As soon as they put that death penalty on the table, you watch shit start start yeah. changing. Hey, are you going out for the trial, Rock? I may. I may. I'm not going to make any uh, long-term plans because I don't think the trial is going to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? But it, it wouldn't be anything for me to either fly or drive out there. I think that uh, Frosty and Frank Meister said they were going to stay up there. Or maybe Frosty would commute and Frank was going to stay or something like that. They were going to get a place up there for the week. Uh, Mevin, they'll probably have three or four alternates. Yeah, I would think so for something like this, too. Mm. Well, misconduct. You know, as much shit is going on, jury misconduct is going to be on man. close watch. Sure. Or somebody from the jury comes back, and if they're not sequestered, they send a text message to their girlfriend, and then next thing you know, their girlfriend puts something on Reddit. You know what I mean? Something like yeah. that's how it can happen. That's how it, it can happen. Yeah, Cassie, I'm in the same boat. It's one of the perks. <laughs> yeah, you can, Carol. You can plead out right away. And <clears throat> my opinion, right, um, he's not going to, if he, if he rolls on these other people, right, he is implicating himself at that point. If he tells on somebody else, he's implicating himself. So he's going to wait right up until the last minute. They're trying anything and everything. And they're not wrong. They're not wrong yeah. at all for, for doing that. But he, he, they're going to wait till the last minute. You know, they can put the, the death penalty on the table right up to the last minute, too. But the judge has to approve it. Yeah. She's got to approve any, any plea deals as well. Now, do you think that the family would be involved with a plea deal? Do you think like McClellan, not the judge, but McClellan would say, hey, this is the deal. If you guys don't want us to do this deal, we're not going to do it. Do you think there's that kind of interaction? Is that common? Yes, that's very common. Okay. That's very common. But it, it, there has to be, uh, come a line. But, you know, they'll play their games. You know, the litigation w it won't stop right up until the day of the trial. You know, they oh. uh, ten days before the trial is the cutoff for uh, discovery and new evidence, unless the judge approves it. Because evidence can come in during the trial as long as the judge approves it, and it has to be pretty uh, spectacular. And it sounds like that's what that's been happening. Whether whether it's about the case itself or whether it was about the leak investigation, when they, when the state was handing stuff over and they're like, "We just got this." march or you know whatever or february and they're like when well, the state is like well we just got it like two days before you know what i mean here we received it here and we sent it out there so uh mm. and again people make a good point there's seven years of investigation i couldn't imagine how many files and notes and things good like Lord. that there have to be. goodness yeah yeah just deb i want cameras in there too but it, it's yeah. it's not all right i mean you can go there you can go to the trial I've heard people complaining that, you know, we need cameras in there because we need to see what's going on. Well, Delta's ready when you are. Fly your happy ass out there and go to the trial. But they don't they don't have to um, film it. They don't have to have live cameras. I would like to see it. I'm, I'm with everybody. I want it to be televised. You but they may do be? it on. Huh? Do you think it will be? In your opinion, do you think that no. she'll say there's cameras? Do you think she'll say no? Yeah, no. But th they may do the uh, delay thing, you know, where they, they, they film it. And they like send it out to, like, court yeah. TV or whatever, you know, and they do it. Yeah, delay. that's okay. I'd be okay with that, too. Yeah, eventually there'll be, there'll be something from it. But there's been other cases where they haven't allowed 
Hey, let me ask you this. It's, it's been going around a lot. And I think Frank might be in the chat. It's very interesting to me. Do you think, have you seen about the transcripts from the, from the, from the hearing last Monday? Mm -hmm. uh, they were going to charge someone like $2,500 for them. Or, did you see that? Yep. Yep. Is that like a common thing? Because that like kind of blew no. my mind. No, no, that, that that's no. They they just don't want to get overwhelmed. We'll see who gets them and who doesn't. Well, I offered with other people like I'm not. I don't have a ton, but like if you get like you know a bunch of people to chip in like fifty bucks or something, I'm very interested in, in reading Major Click's uh, testimony. And what I'm, what I would be looking for is when Major Click was on the stand, the defense. Did the defense ever use the word Odinism? Because mm. I'm not thinking that they did, because he doesn't think it was Odinism. He thinks right. it was the guys were involved. But I was just very curious. I wanted to hear what he had to say, because so many people said we couldn't hear. You know, multiple people said that we couldn't hear. So no one, you know, you listen, this person has this. I'd like to just have that and just read it all out for especially he, that part. Even during... um. Kagan Klein's thing. People said they yeah. couldn't hear shit. I don't know why they don't use uh, microphones. And it's 2024. Yeah. You know, there has to be a better way to, to get that out. Uh, yeah. Well, that, I mean, that keeps the court quiet, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I know everybody's quiet trying to listen. Well, that and well, the judge coming out and saying, everyone shut up. Yeah. <laughs> but now what's going to be interesting, right? Hey, Mark. What's going to be interesting is, mock the shock, <laughs> is that these people on the jury are going to be hearing this stuff for the first time, more than likely, if they're honest. Um, so they're going to be looking at this through fresh eyes. And again, there's going to be a lot of presentation, smoke and mirrors, sleight of hand. You know, I've said it a million times. Yeah, yeah I'm I bummed too, mummy. I think that they will be able to find people in Indiana. I'm sure they've heard of this case, but we, we live inside like a Delphi, almost like a vacuum where it's like, how could you not have heard about this case? Even like people in my family, like you never, you never heard of Delphi. I'll talk to cops at work and they're like, no, what are you talking about? Like Greece, like the city in Greece or whatever. I'm like, no, in Indiana. But even if you're from that state, I think they'll be aware of this, but they're not in the YouTube, they're not into, you know, all the groups and the discords, so they don't know details. So I think they will be able to find partial jurors. Uh, it might take a little while, but I think they'll be able to do it, you know? Mm. I have um, friends and family that uh, subscribe and watch, and also um, ex-co-workers and some people that still work for the sheriff's office. So th they're interested in it, um, but, but mostly, believe it or not, because of all the drama. They think it's oh, hilarious. Yeah. I think a lot of people come here and, and like for the train wreck factor. I, I agree. Yeah. They think it's they think. hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. It's been seven minutes past 2.30 in the a.m. I can't believe that I'm out this late with him walk, walking me up to my door, slowly taking his time, getting so close. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's two thirty in the morning. Anything can happen. Hey, I remember when I had my first beer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Snay and Noe will be jurors. One sit next to each other. Oh, good lord! Could you imagine? <sighs> I don't think that would go too well. <laughs> Unless you're on a grand jury, uh, you can't ask questions either until you're in the jury room, and it's got to go through the bailiff and through the judge. Yeah, yeah. I do remember that. They're like, if you, if you have any questions, don't raise your hand in the jury box. Like, oh, hold on a second. He, they would say, write it down, and then you could give it to the bailiff. Like, you could slide it to him or write it down in the next break. Say, hey, I have a question about this. And if he needs to, he'll get the judge to give you, like, a, a, explain it or give you an interpretation or whatever. All right, Mark's just saying the same shit over and over. He's stuck on stupid. Huh. SOS. Be in Jinxie's right. car. <laughs> <laughs> Florida loves Delphi. How are you? All right, let's see. What's up, Go? Or G-O? They should sell the video rights and pay for the trial. Yeah, I know. They would right? be able well, to. They'd probably be able to pay the defense team, too. 
Four million. Hi, Jensen. Thing. <laughs> no, you, you can't. Yeah, no, I was going to say North but... Allegheny County. Yeah. I don't know about Indiana. Yeah, they have public seating, and then they have uh, rooms where the jury selection takes place. I know that because I've seen the signs in the courthouse over and over. There'd be a sign that points this way and says public seating, and then a sign that points this way, juror selection. When we went there, there was a guy at the door with like a paper, like a, a you know, like a, I think he was a county policeman or something. And he would, you would have to either show your ID or after coming in and out, he would remember you and you'd have a sticker, a juror sticker on. If you didn't have it on, you couldn't go in there. Like someone from the public just couldn't mm. walk in. Wow, yeah, they have badges here. Yeah, it's what it was. It actually was a badge. And anyway, you gave it back. It was a yeah. clear thing. You like slid a thing into it. That's what it was. That's exactly what it was. Yeah, I'll read the transcripts for the whole trial. You won't be able to understand a word I say, though. Yeah. As long as they don't use a lot of eyes, we'll be all right. Yeah, she can reverse the, the order. She can change her mind on that. But that's, you know, again, it's not our right. I want to see it televised as well. But yeah, it's, even if it's, it's not our right. Yeah, even if it's delayed, you, you know, that would be fine. It's it just, I think it's just really interesting. Yeah. Mm. All, I'm all more interested in, in seeing um, the evidence, yeah. you know, because I've stood Absolutely. pretty strong on evidence and I still yeah. stand by every syllable that I've said. And, uh, you know, I hate this, you know, you have to back it up. You have to give receipts, you know. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm not selling ice cream, so I obviously don't give a fuck. You know, a great saying that there is, is time Time is the Avenger. And I think that that's what we're going to see here. Now, at the end of this case, if Richard Allen is found guilty, whether he alloc allocates everything in front of everyone and says, I just lost my mind and I did it or I did it for this reason. If that happens, this case will carry on forever. People will say it's fixed, it's worked. We're going to get the Innocence Project. We're going to do X, Y, and Z. Not that that Innocence Project doesn't do good work or anything like that, but if he if he's adjudicated not guilty, I might think he's guilty and say, you know what, I got to respect the jury's decision because that's what they did. So I wouldn't continue to linger on. I think the people that think he's guilty, if he were to get off, whether it's a technicality, whether his attorneys whoop the state in court, I think that I'll walk away and say, okay, on to the next case. I think he did it, but I know they can't try him again. But if he's found guilty, I think this thing is just going to, most creators are going to kind of move on from it, but there's going to be people that are just, that'll, that'll stay on it and stay on it. And there's procedures for that. His appeals, he can go through all the yeah. appeals and everything. And, you know, 10 years from now when those are all done, I think there'll still be people that say, oh, they got the wrong guy. They got the wrong guy. But Yeah. People are going to use yeah. the word corruption and railroad it a lot. Yeah. Ivy Push was there, and she said he didn't use um, that word, Odinus. He used Vinlanders. Sleuth, brother, I thought you were on the road, man. I thought you were going out tonight. Thanks for stopping in, though. Is there a way to prove a jury member lied to get selected? Yes. They vet all of them. And um, once you get selected in a case like this, they can, uh, they'll can they talk to your neighbors and, and all that shit. <laughs> and people snitch each other out. So, There's been a, so a couple you, cases of that. In my in my opinion, if they only said Vinlanders, the defense has already started to shift away from the Odin sacrifice because Click Think thought that people that did this were Vinlanders or whatever, but it wasn't a sacrifice. So in my opinion, they're already shifting from the Frank's motion and they're getting away. They're not going to say, well, maybe it wasn't a sacrifice, but maybe it was done by Odinist, which in my opinion, if you're going to use major click, you should just use his theory. Why not just use his theory? He could be your star witness, you know, because all McClellan got to do is get up and say, hey, do you think this was an Odin sacrifice? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, no more questions, Your Honor. And to me, you mm. kind of debunk everything he says if they're pushing the Odin sacrifice part. But it, that's what I wanted to read that. They're already getting away from it, in my opinion. They're, they're, they're starting to go a different way, a little bit of a different way. What's up, Sleuth? Now, Sleuth is getting ready to go boots on the ground. There's a girl that's missing out there in uh, Arizona. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I guess she called 911 and gave them her coordinates off her phone. They still couldn't find her. And they didn't find her car for a couple days or a couple weeks. Oh, even. wow. Was she, like, yeah. out in, like, the, like the desert area? or? Yeah, she was heading back to California. And I <laughs> guess she got lost or disorientated or whatever. But she was on a dirt road. Oh, wow. Sleuth said, what's up? 
Yeah, I haven't heard. You have to put some put a thing up, or I'll check his page out. I'm sure he has something on his page about her. I haven't heard about that. Ron Logan said he's oh. got some campsites on his property. Well, if that's nice of you, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> I love people's names, even when they're like troll accounts that come in. Yeah. Like, I love the names that they come up with. To me, it's hilarious. Even if it makes fun of me, I don't care. Funny's funny. It's about yeah, me. Yeah, dude. It's funny. I get laugh. fucked with all the time. <laughs> hey, Jamie. Jamie, what's going on? Uh, let's see here. Nobody has heard about Delphi in Southeast Indiana, but we don't get indie news. We get Cincy. Oh, that makes sense. Oh. The hearing device in Allen County was great. I took them off when they were whispering. Okay. But they, um, I'm interested to see if after the trial, if the jury's going to talk to the press. Sometimes the jury does, sometimes they do not. Can the judge stop them from talking to the press? Can she put like no. an order out? Once, no. So once you're released from jury duty, it's fair game. Wide right? ass open. Yep. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. You're right back to your normal life, and uh, they you, you could they all do it. They write books. You I've know. seen. I saw. I saw a thing on the OJ case. Uh, a doc. It was like a four part documentary. I think ESPN did. It was fantastic. It was called OJ Made in America, and they interviewed two or three of the jurors mm. in that case. Yeah. Hey, Laura. Trust me, there are plenty of people around who haven't heard of the case. They would be able to find people. Yeah. Absolutely. But they'll vet them in a case like this. They'll, they'll vet them. They'll check them out. I would imagine they go back and look at social media because if they go on your Facebook account and all you have is I'm um, part of 10 Delphi groups and stuff like that, they're going to say, oh, this person's going to be out. We don't want them in here. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Now, once they start, I, I, like I said, I can't wait for the evidence to come out. You know? I agree, too. I think a lot of what the defense says, and, and again, especially Baldwin from hearing people in the that were there Monday, you know, Baldwin's a really, really good attorney. Like he was mm -hmm. in there mixing it up really well. And I just wondered everything, all these lies, I think they're going to be lies. I should say that. I, sh I think they are. I don't know for a fact. Holman did this. Tobe lied about this. Boom, boom, boom. As we get in the court, what you're going to see, in my opinion, is the defense's interpretation of a document that they read or their interpretation of a deposition interview and it's not going to actually be what they said it was. So the defense attorney said the police lied. How many times in America does that happen every day? It's Hundreds or thousands? <laughs> so every that's case. Not unusual. That's not unusual. Now, the 70 days of missing video and things like that, they messed up. Like things, hmm. I don't whatever, I don't think it was a conspiracy, but you got to come out and say, yeah, I'm in charge of the DVR and I didn't do whatever. And it's my fault. However, the people who were interviewed are still alive. You could still interview them, you know what I mean, or whatever, and go from there. But when people find fault with the police in this case, it's there. It's there to be found. But it's not a, mm. a 50 person hex hexagonal conspiracy. No. You know, I don't hey, Connie. I'll, I'll tell you what, you know, I, I made mistakes every day. How about you, Coach? I'm talking about at work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Does absolutely. that make you incompetent? No, no. It, and it, right. the longer you go on, the less mistakes that you make like that. That's called experience. You know what I mean? The longer mm -hmm. that you go on. But you still you still do things. You're, oh, shit. I forgot to something as middle as I forgot to put the, the wheel chalk out because I parked on a hill. You know, the truck didn't move and didn't roll down the hill. But if it would have and I'd have the wheel chalk out. But little things like that. Absolutely. But when you when you have a case like this, it's magnified like times a thousand. You know, yeah. maybe it should be. Maybe it should be. It's but that doesn't important. give them, you know, people are throwing down that word, you know, law enforcement's incompetent and corrupt. Yeah. And, you know, that pisses me the fuck off. Everybody makes mistakes at work. You know, you get a mm -hmm. paper jam in your fucking printer. Are you incompetent? Incompetent? No. Every if Johnny Depp and Amber Heard wasn't televised, we might still be listening to Amber Heard's delusional take on oh. things. <laughs> huh. I didn't watch any of that. I, I, I heard enough when she shit on his bed. That was one of the discovery things that I was told to read because I would question someone about the Delphi discovery, the judge's rules and how strict it was. And they were like, go read Johnny Depp's. And it was strict. And another one was Trump. One of Trump's things. I read that discovery because it was real strict. I have never seen anything like Delphi. Delphi is the first one I've read, but I've read about 30 other ones since I read Delphi. 
And at my last live I did, I was thinking like they violated the, the gag order. The defense violated the gag order. Did they have Westerman sign an affidavit? Did they have them do all this? They should let people see it. And then Monday at court, all the attorneys were like, yeah, we let people look at evidence all the time and get their opinion. So what I mm. thought was a big deal apparently is commonplace, common lawyering. You know, I showed people outside of the investigation this stuff and you're supposed to have them sign an affidavit or whatever, but it doesn't seem like anybody does that. So what I thought was a big deal, I wasn't. I had a little presentation. Mm. It was like 20 minutes. I was all proud of it. And people in my chat were like, yeah, that's nice. But they said it doesn't matter. So I'm like, ah. Now, Sleuth wants to know, what if the leaked Franks memo was used as a red herring? Because they should have sealed that. They really should have sealed that. Yeah. So, did, Sleuth, do you think that the, the state purposely left it out? Or are you saying the defense used it as a red herring? Because if the defense, if the question is, if the defense used it as a red herring, absolutely. And it worked. It worked fantastically. You know, people, mm. people swear by that, by that Franks memo. Yeah, there's a lot of people. A lot of people. Yeah, it's, hey, Tara. It's, yeah, they're, 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 they kind of go back on that Frank's memo like it's law. And they cite things out of there like it's law. It's not law. It's the defense. There's about, I think, 10 to 12 pages that actually matter that for the, for the, to get the Frank's hearing. And the rest of it is here's our story. We want to get the story out. We want to get it out to social media, to YouTube, to different places. And they did. And it worked. It worked tremendously for them. Mark's not in timeout, Miranda, that I know of. But he doesn't need to donate. He can just watch and comment. Mark the shock. Amelia, happy Saturday. But I can't wait till they start. And like I said, Kev, I think he's going to plead out. Or change his plea guilty like it, it like i said if he's if he discloses who else is is involved you know well then he's implicating himself isn't he yeah i didn't think of it that way i don't know enough about court proceedings to like guess like this means that like you know there's people like you that have been around the court the attorneys that have channels and stuff and they're all slanted a certain way if they're prosecutors they lean one way defense they lean another but if everybody says the same kind of thing that I think that I kind of take that information like, well, that's that's going to be gospel on this because these two sides, although they disagree, think this, this, this and that's going to happen. So, I've, you know, you, a couple other people think it's posturing for a deal. Other sides, you know, swear, oh, it's, it's not. But, you know, you got to listen to the people want to know on that. I'm not uh, I'm no legal beagle for sure. I could yeah, I'm that. not either. It w it w yeah. <laughs> no, when it comes to this lawyer and stuff. It's it's I, aggravating. I, I, yeah. I've been interested in other cases, but I haven't followed it till the case actually like went to trial. I didn't follow all the maneuvering leading up to it. So this is the first time that I'm really into that. But I've looked at a bunch of other cases since I've gotten into this. And a lot of the stuff that the defense is doing is kind of commonplace. Not everything. There's some extraordinary things that are being done, but a lot of it, it's done in all these different cases. It's just like, it's kind of like defense lawyering 101. You know, mm. this is what you do. And if they say no to that, then you do this. And so I find it interesting, though. It's like a game of chess. Dude, when they announced the verdict, I was sitting in the waiting room to get my polygraph done. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah? Yeah, when I transferred from the state to go to the sheriff's office. You know, they go through basically the whole hiring process all over again because you're basically switching jobs. But uh, I went in there and I talked to the guy who was uh, running the polygraph about it. He was like, can you fucking believe that? <laughs> I was like, no, no. Dude, I'm sure they do it with you guys as well, man. I had a whole psychological evaluation, lie detector test, background check. They do. So we don't do lie detectors. The city of Pittsburgh does lie detectors for their firemen, too. Uh, so they went to court. They do lie detectors. They went to court. The, the local one tried to have the lie detector thrown out. They said the lie detector won't be thrown out, but the city can't use it to, to as a reason not to hire somebody. So explain that to me. Mm. It, it makes no sense, right? It, it's like, well, what's the point? We don't do that. We had a psychological exam. Uh, we had an oral interview with the, with, the, with the psychologist. And then when you had your oral inter interview with the panel for the, for the city, the civil service panel, 
the psychologist was in there and he would try to get like a row out of you. You know what I mean? Like one of the things he'd like, you know, he'd say to guys like, well, according to this, you have a pretty crazy sex life. Are you into some crazy stuff? And like the older guys would tell you, like, they're going to say shit like this to you. So I'm like, what do you say back? Is that I'll be cool and be like, I don't think it's that crazy. I don't, I don't think it's that crazy. Like, are you into some crazy stuff? Yeah. And you would give it back to the psych. That's what they wanted you to do, but they didn't want you to lose your shit. Cause people in the community are going to be screaming at you at three in the morning. Why don't you get water on this house? So they mm. want, they want, especially with the police, it's even worse. So they try to get you riled up. And if you get riled up, they're like, you don't have the right, you know, mindset to do this job. So we kind of knew the older guys helped us with that. Mark's not stuck in stupid. He's stuck in love. Yeah. Well, that's so okay. if he is a troll for all you trolls out there, that's the way to do it. $10. Yeah. $10. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. I'll use that to uh, get some English lessons. <laughs> but if you take the first day of trial, opening statement, if the defense goes off of anything, because they, they were adamant in that Frank's motion, what their strategy is. Uh -huh. it, as a matter of fact, they use those words. Our strategy is that it was a third person. It was Odinus. You know, um, if they sway off of anything off of that, but now that Nick has these uh, mental health records and medical records, period, you know, um, and another thing, too, is everybody said that he looked pretty good now. He's kind of settled in to the, to the prison life. You know, he's, yeah. he, he's got acclimated. And I've seen it over and over. We used to call it um, redneck rehab. <laughs> you know, <laughs> people that are alcoholics, you know, they go to jail for a month. You know, yeah, I heard the courtroom is very small. Probably be ticket scalpers out front. Oh, you know, yeah, it's going to be crazy. Yeah, it's going to be a circus and it, people are going to lose focus on what this trial is about. It's all about the attorneys now. That's what always happens. Who the hell knew who Jose Bias was? Yeah. You know. And then, boom, his opening statement, he drops a bombshell. She didn't kill her daughter. Her dad did. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, the defense. Yeah, Sleuth. I think that I think that they did leak it for that. And, uh, well, no, not, I guess it technically wasn't leaked. It was just kind of a way around. It should it have been censored or not or, 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 or sealed totally or whatever. But, yeah, I think that that's – and I think it worked fantastically as a red herring. It absolutely uh, – I mean, look at all the people. Like I said, they swear by it. Like, like they quote that like it's the Indiana Code, like the law. They're, they're doing a great job. And people are quoting everything the defense says as if it's the truth. Yeah. You know? And I'm not I'm I'm not whining here. I put out that information that the, the uh, motorcycle cover has tracks on it, and that's gonna connect him to the case. I stand by that, right? Mm -hmm. Um, but pe people are saying, well, the defense hasn't tried to throw that out yet. Fuck, they haven't. They're trying to get that whole search warrant <laughs> destroyed. Yeah, yeah. Jamie, I've heard that uh, too. How did your ex help write the Franks motion? What? I know he was in the <laughs> Knot in uh, Ivy League or whatever it's called, that group of folks. I'm not very familiar with them. But, um, and to be clear, that's that's that would be legal, right? There's no, like, the defense doesn't do anything wrong by asking somebody, if they did ask somebody from YouTube to help give them information to, to write that Frank's memo, as long as they weren't exchanging. Uh, Talking strategy of violating the gag order. As long they as they're not violating that. the gag, that's not, that's okay to do, right? That's not illegal. No, well, <clears throat> they can talk to whoever they want. And I'm sure that they bend the rules. I'm sure the prosecution bends the rules. Oh, yeah. They're, well, they're attorneys. Like, that's right. what they do. Like well, they're trying to build the best defense that they can, and we all deserve that. Yeah. Super Chat, Mommy Wolverine. Thank you so hey, much, Mommy. Mommy. You're the bomb.com. You guys rock. <laughs> I feel like I'm at the strip joint with this money. Oh. <laughs> Catherine, I live in Mass. No one I know is invested in this case. Wish they were. My only outlet for info and back and forth is YouTube. Um, I have family members in Boston that are watching right now, Catherine. <laughs> so there are some people. 
They're in actually in uh, Lynn, Mass. Uh, Laura, wait, Ruckus. Wait, Ruckus, why aren't you a little circle in the bottom tonight? <laughs> no I want to switch it up. There's just two of us, so I figured we'd go 50-50. <laughs> we'd be even in the middle. Oh, spelling mistakes galore, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, <laughs> yeah, there was. But, I mean, they got their point across, didn't they? And And yeah. they've done a good job. Now, I call people that just listen to the defense and take it as gospel, as the truth, omni-thinkers. You know, they're just thinking one way. They see that, and they think that that's facts. Yeah. You, you know, McClellan hasn't answered any of that shit, and he won't until it goes to trial. He is not going to try this case in the public. It's not going to happen. And, that, and, that, and that's something that I found out about on this case here like, this is standard. The defense is going to do this. Now, maybe here it's Delphi, so everything's amped up and just a little bit crazier. But there's actually laws that the prosecution, like, can't put out damning information against the defendant till trial. Like, they're actually really restricted, and I never knew that. And each state's different, but in general, there's less that they can do leading up to the trial than the defense can do. They still have to respect the gag orders and stuff mm -hmm. like that, but, but the prosecution can't be, like, sneaky – or the defense could be a little sneaky from, you know, they could be very sneaky at the laws. The prosecution, they don't talk shit until the case happens. And right. That's they, just the defense can out and out lie. Yeah. 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 That's and everywhere. that's OK, that's too. True. I mean, like I yeah. said, I want to be defended like that, don't you? Sure, sure. And, and I hope I believe so. And I hope that it's the case that in May or whenever this thing does go to trial, if it goes to trial, that uh, the defense will have or the, the prosecution will have all the answers. Hey, was the bullet covered? Yeah, it was. Well, everyone mm. said it was, and well, I don't know where that came from. You know, and it just it'd be one of those situations over and over. And then after the trial's over, even before, listen, we could have done better. We should have let more information out early. We made a couple of mistakes. You know, the tip was Skinner, you know, call his buddy Dolan and say, This is a good guy. Mark him as a whatever happened. These are why these things happen. The river search, yes, this is what exactly happened in the river search. We found X, Y, and Z. We were led to it by X, Y, you know. All those mm -hmm. things are definitively answered for, not that we deserve it or are entitled to it, but I just, just, I'd like to know just to kind of put it to rest in my mind, put it to bed, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Bees, what's the incentive for a plea deal? Uh, there's a lot of incentive. If they put the death penalty on the table, that's definitely incentive. But there's other people involved with this. I know there is. But he's not going to um, implicate himself, you know, by telling on others yet. <laughs> he will. He will. He's not like in prison right now. But they hey, have Rob, all kinds of things. Sorry, bud. Let me ask you this. I, I've wanted to ask you this before. I'm going to get your opinion. Do you think that when he was making his confessions, and we don't know what the confessions are, and during that period of time that he looked really bad, do you think he was really close to just spilling and giving it all up? And then that's what kind of when the attorneys came in and were like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, slow your roll here. Here's what we're gonna do. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna stretch this out." And they kind of backed him off the ledge. Do you think? I, I theorized, in my opinion, with no, no proof that I think he was going down that route. And then these attorneys kind of got in there and said, no, maybe we can get you off of this or whatever the case is. Do you think that was happening? I would hope the attorneys would do that. But I, I, haven't, I know that he's been offered a deal and he didn't want to talk. He didn't want to uh, yeah. say what his participation was in this. So it's a plea deal really helps the families the most the victims' families. They don't have to go through that. You know, they don't have to go through all of that shit. Um, and I don't know what their thoughts are. Uh, contrary to popular belief, I don't speak to anybody in the family. I never have. Yeah, never. neither do I. I'd love yeah. to one day, but I haven't. Yeah. Hey, Mary. But it, that really helps the family, the plea deals. And but you know there's what? a lot. There's a lot they can bargain with. And a the, lot of people DC say, was, why would he plea? They only have to convince one juror. We don't know everything that the, the prosecution has. Yeah. Well, yeah, and he would. He would know that. 
you know. And I think the other thing with the families is the, these details aren't being spilled into the courtroom in front of all these people. Like they maybe they know what happened and they, they know specifics, but now everyone knows the specifics. They're going to be able to print them and be in the newspaper the next day. It'll be on the news and. You know, mm. so I can definitely see that. And, and again, we're not owed anything as long as the parties that are involved, Richard Allen, his attorneys, the family, the judge, if there if there is a if there is a plea deal, the details are known amongst them. And then uh, but I heard the same thing about the Allen allocution. He didn't want to allocute uh, his crimes. So mm. or his crime. What up, Frosty? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I agree. He didn't he didn't want to do it, you know. Cryptex. I think the Frank's memo was just the first drop. There was additional info in the hearing of this week, and I think the defense has something big under the sleeve. I know it's not popular opinion. That's fine. There's no such thing as popular opinion in here. I know a lot of people think I'm abrasive, and if you don't agree with me, I block you. No, I block you if you're an asshole. Yeah, that's that absolutely possible, Cryptex. Absolutely possible. Absolutely. Why do you think? Why do you think Rock or anyone in the chat that they never named? Keegan Klein or Ron Logan, like from the FBI search warrant, we it, it's reasonable to believe that the FBI thought Ron Logan was involved in a crime. I'd be like, the goddamn FBI said it was Ron Logan. You know, what are you people doing? Why do you think they never involved either of those people in, in that Frank's memo? Or as far as we know, they haven't been brought up yet. By the That's low hanging fruit, too. <laughs> you know, I, mean, I would, I would be like, I'd be like the FBI thought it was him, whether they thought it was him or whether they thought he had uh, evidence there, whatever the case was. I mean, I never understood that either. So I hope mm. the trial comes and I like, why were they thinking that way? You know, it's just I'm very curious to that. But uh, Miranda, I saw your question earlier. I didn't want to blow by it, but uh, Kev was talking. I didn't want to interrupt him. Um, there's no updates on Evansdale at the, at this second. There's, there's things going on, but there's no updates yet. Now, he, here's the thing, too. The defense has the discovery, right? Now, just common sense, common sense. If the defense has other people helping them that are not attorneys and they're not part of their team, right, they may speak with them and strategize and, and get information from them. But if there's inculpatory evidence in that discovery, do you think the defense is going to say, hey, you YouTubers, help me out because they got his fucking DNA and we got to do something about this? <laughs> you know what I mean? They're not going to share that. They're only sharing the iffy stuff. Yeah. And we don't know why. And it's standard SOP to try and get search warrants tossed out. A lot of a lot of uh, defense attorneys do that. Bob Motto would be the one to ask about that. But uh, people are screaming that, well, they didn't. With the whole bullet thing, how come they didn't mention a bullet with the Ron Logan search warrant? Because they didn't find the matching gun there. It had the same verbiage of the shit they were looking for. It didn't say they, it said they were looking for ammo in his. Mm -hmm. It said they were looking for firearms and all that and, and digital um, media and shit like that. It, but, you know, they found the gun that matched the uh, sirations on that bullet, the ejection marks. And they took how many other people's uh, 40 calibers from the Delphi community for testing? A lot of men in the area. Uh, Weber was one. They took his weapon for about six months, right? Or at least yeah. a few months. Yeah. They took a AIB. lot of people's Yeah, dude. I mean, they're going to. That's what they should do. Law enforcement is doing their job. The defense is doing their job. But law enforcement is done. They've already turned everything over to the prosecution. This leak bullshit means nothing to me means nothing um, and i don't even I don't, I don't know what it means if it means a lot to the case anymore because now as it appears from many of the people on youtube that are attorneys the fact that, that she's given him a week and then a week response and then 30 days for that one issue that she's not going to kick the defense off of the case she's going to let's go to court which i agree let's go let's roll yes. let's get it go so yeah and she shouldn't i mean she may hit somebody in the pocket you yeah. know what I mean? Fine them or whatever. There'll be sanctions of some sort. But it's still, um, listen, I mean, people that are anti-law enforcement, they throw the word incompetence around. Well, I'm going to use it here as well. They made mistakes. They're incompetent, right? Semantics. Yeah. Um, don't kick them off the case. They're doing a great job. They're doing a great job. You know, they... um. 
I wish I had attorneys fighting that hard for me. They're, I mean, they're they're skating on thin ice right now. Let, but, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, Rock. Do you think that in high-profile cases, the Delphi has changed the game? And by that, I mean defense uh, people dealing with social media personalities or YouTube personalities to cover crime. Do you think that this is now going to be the norm in big cases? Like, hey, I've seen you covering a case that I'm working on, and maybe I can't tell you about anything, but what do you think about this or what are your thoughts? Do you think this is – I think this is a trend that's going to happen all the time now. Yeah, and it's it's not one that should, but unfortunately we're in that day and age. Yeah. Uh, Rebecca, so. yes, the defense can lie, and they do lie. Look at Casey Anthony's attorneys, the opening statement. Um, it the the state has the burden of proof, not the defense. And you watch how much the defense leads the witness during uh, direct examination. There's going to be all kinds of objections because not all witnesses are good on the stand. They they may be good in depositions, but once they get on the stand, they lock up. So the defense is going to try and lead them a little bit, and the prosecution is going to object. You can lead a witness on cross-examination, but you can't do it on direct. But that's because they, they want the answers that they want. And that's, there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. Won't potential jurors be dismissed if they have private, prior knowledge of the case? Yes. Yes. In this case, yes. <laughs> They'll ask their opinion. I mean, we used to joke around, you know, all you got to do is say fry the bastard the second they say the first syllable out of their mouth, the first <laughs> question, and you, and you won't have to sit on jury duty. But, I mean, it, once this thing gets to trial, if it gets to trial, like I said, I'm, I stand by he's going to plead out or change his plea to guilty. If he doesn't want to rat out the other people involved, he will change his plea to guilty and just eat it. Yes, Ellie made mistakes, and the defense made mistakes, you know, but there's the, – the whole Odinist thing to me is a, is a moot point. Yeah, Rossi represented yeah. Logan. Yeah, I don't think he think did that individually. I think that his um, – him and his partner did yeah his that's just another incidence of like you know with like the floor and Adelphi overlaps and ben rector one of the guys that was on a stand monday he did uh lie detectors for flora and Adelphi case it's just such a small area or, or a, a small population wise area that these people overlap you know oh becky patty did the, did the did the thing for this the appraisal for this well she's like the only one of the only appraisers within like a 45 minute drive so that's why in these areas, these people are overlapping, you know what I mean? And, and it's, I don't, it's hard for me to understand because I live in like an inner city, but out there it appears to be the, the way things are. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're getting, uh, we're at the, the little bit, couple minutes over the hour mark. Do you guys have any final questions for Kev? Yeah. The defense really, they're skating on thin ice, but they're doing a good job. Like I said, I can't fault anything that they're doing. Yeah, I would agree with you there. I think the defense is really doing. Now, I don't know. The Hennessy didn't go over too good, I guess. And it, even Bob Mata mentioned he looked worn out or whatever. And some people say he was up boozing too late. I don't know. But he just kind of wore out. It's a big courtroom. Uh, but Baldwin was, was stellar, they said. Uh, and I, I agree with you. I would want them defending me, too. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's the people outside of the case that think they're affecting the case. And, and I agree with you. You said it a long time ago. What happens on YouTube doesn't affect the case. McClellan, McClellan said it. And they showed you by bringing up the YouTubers, they each got to talk for a very short period of time. This doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. Now, when they try to bring them up at trial, I don't know the advantage to that, to that but who knows? But it, at the end of the day, we do what we do. We talk. We prognosticate. We, we think, give you our theories or whatever. But it doesn't matter in the courtroom. It just doesn't matter. What I say doesn't matter in the courtroom. It's not. It's not going to carry any weight. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's YouTube, and that's the real. That's the real world. But I expect the defense to lie. Whatever. It, whatever it takes. I mean, the whole time frame thing, him changing yeah. when he was there, um, stuff like that. And the defense, keep this in mind, guys. They have all the discovery. They have everything, and yeah. they're not really going after he's innocent. They're going after it was somebody else. You know, 
That's yeah. what they're really hammering at. And that's okay. If it works for them, great. I mean, who saw OJ getting off? You know? I didn't. <laughs> the guy giving you the polygraph didn't either. No. <laughs> it's crazy, <laughs> man. And, and Casey Anthony. It's nuts. Yeah. That, that's, nuts. That, that was, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. But you know, it, this is the internet. This is YouTube. It's it's a community because there's a bunch of people that come together. Um, mm -hmm. All the infighting and stuff like that is useless. I mean, that has zero effect either. I know some people get so upset that they want to fight and yeah. uh, dox each other and stuff like that. But I mean, what are you what are you gonna do? I can't control it, so I just yeah. do what I want. I, I lost my shit a couple of months back, but now I'm, I'm again, you're right again. You goddamn old cop. Uh, you just, you just, you gotta carry on, do your thing. And you know, the, the people that are, that are just, they're in it for the drama and that's fine for a YouTube channel. I mean, I'm not saying you can't do that, you know, that whatever, but like if you, if you kind of ignore them and just stick to the script and do what you want to do, I think eventually those people they'll like consume themselves like, like a, like a bacteria. Cause if no one's giving them any time to time of day and they're just focusing on the case and their shit, <clears throat> they're not getting responses back from you know from people that they're just going to turn turn on each other and do what they do but their their channels are always going to be like that if it's another case they'll focus on that you know that aspect of it and mm. hey if they get subscribers and, and they're into it then go go for it by all means go for it but just you know the family blaming has come back a little bit uh it, it went away for a while but like that's just the craziest thing if the defense isn't bringing up the family they're bringing up an odinous sacrifice then just enough's enough. I mean, come on, you know. But mm. th we'll be proved. We'll be proven right on that. Whether he allocate allocutes, whether he gets found guilty or innocent, no one's going to bring the family up in this case. Linda K. Johnson says, "Coach Andy Warhol is a name from McKeesport." Yeah, from Pittsburgh mainly. Uh, I don't know if he went to McKeesport High School or not. Uh, I was just told my girlfriend Murph the Surf, the famous jewel thief. He went to McKeesport Area High School. And he oh, said no he, wanted to leave he wanted to leave McKeesport as quick as possible. He's from California. He said because you would be standing in slush and you look up in the air and there'd be pieces from the mill flying over. And he said, man, if I don't get out of here, I'm going to die here. Murph the Surf, if you look him up, graduated in McKeesport area high school. Yeah. Yeah, he's a jewel thief. Yeah. Warhol, he has a great thing down in Pittsburgh, Warhol Museum. And I'm not, I'm not into, as you would say, ought as much. But it's really cool down there. They'll have parties where you can have a couple of drinks and walk around. And that dude was out there, man. He was an interesting cat for sure. Very talented. Uber yeah. talented. Yeah. He was out there where the buses don't run, though, dude. Yeah, he was he was where he was where they run, where they don't run, and where there weren't even buses to begin with. He was he was <laughs> yeah. all out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But all right, guys, listen, I appreciate it. And Kev, thank you so much, dude. I know it was like last second. I just like, you know, I need That's to okay. talk with Kev. We haven't talked for a while. Yeah, absolutely. I always have a good time do, uh, hanging out with you. Frosty wanted to do a live. I saw at the bottom. Let me know, Frosty. Uh, yeah, always good talk. I always enjoy your perspective. And uh, anytime I could do it, let me know again, and we'll go from there. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Do, have a great, great show. And I'm sure everyone here has already subbed to you, but uh, spread the word about Ruckus. He, he, he keeps it straight. You know what I mean? That's I like people like that. There's no him and hawing or pissing around. He's going to tell you what he thinks. And Hopefully you like it. And if you don't, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> well, my sense of humor is a byproduct. Of my sense of humor is pissing people off. I honestly, oh. it's my sense of humor though. I don't, you know, <laughs> I can't, I can't help it. You, you can't put tone of voice into a, a text. So when I'm responding <laughs> to uh, some comments, I'm actually joking most of the time, but yeah, um, yeah what are you going to do? <laughs> but all right, guys, uh, coach, I'll talk to you soon. And to the all rest right. of you guys, right. don't take any wooden nickels. Have a great rest of your weekend. <laughs>